hello guys welcome to 3d home and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to add additional material texture okay how to add material texture to a key all right be it ties be it paint be it concrete surface any type of material i'll be showing you the process on how to do that with this same process you can add concrete texture um ties texture you can add paints anything anything be it wooden texture you can add using this same method okay so let's dive into the video without wasting much of it. The first thing to do is click on this option. Okay. Once you click on option, um, you click on this element attribute. Okay. Element attribute. But let me say something real quick. Any material you want to add, okay, make sure you've downloaded that particular material into your system. You can download it with your phone and then add it to your system. But make sure you have the picture of that material. Um, like 2K or 4K resolution. Okay, make sure you have that quality picture. You can download it with your phone and transfer it to your system or download it directly. Okay. So after getting that picture, then now we can start this particular step. Okay. So click on option. Once you click on option, then you click on this element attribute. Under this element attribute, move your cursor to these surfaces. Okay. You click on surfaces. Once you click on surfaces, this is where we start, all right? So first thing to do is change this particular one, okay? You can see different names here, but change this one to be stone work. Sometimes when you open it, you see maybe brick or something like this, but click on it, make sure it's stone work, okay? You see stone, this is stone work, zero to stone work. So click on stone work, all right? Then the next thing now, make sure this one is on engine, this engine setting, make sure it's on engine, okay? Then now, after checking these two, all right, after making sure that they are like this, click on new. Under this new, now, when once things pop up like this, the next thing to do is to change, to type in the material name, okay? The material names, that material name that you remember, okay? Material that you remember. So let's make this one, um, let's say black tile. Black tile, let me use capital here. Okay, let's say black tile a black tire and then okay this one is still on that stone work make sure it's on duplicate okay then click on okay then the next thing to do now is check this under this cover fill make sure it's under stone work too all right then close it open this texture under this texture okay click on browse click on browse all right yes all right under browse now once this thing comes up click on add all right you click on add Mine is showing now because I've opened some of those places. So locate where that your picture is saved. These particular ones are on desktop. Okay, from desktop now I can locate that folder, which is this new folder. So these are the two materials. This one is marble, this one is tile. So this is the black tile. So now you click on that particular material, all right? And then click on open. Once the material opens, okay? Once it is open like this, the next thing to do is click on this embedded okay click on embedded and click ok then the next thing to do now again is to click on this same browse right under that embedded okay scroll up to embedded under this embedded click this little arrow and you see the tires here you see the name of that material down so this one now is tires click on that tires and then click ok now you see that the material will come here okay from here now this is not hard okay just pay close attention it's very very simple okay so once the material shows up here, so now now this place under these sizes, okay, this texture size, you cannot change the material to what you want, the size you want. So this one is two thousand five hundred by two thousand five hundred. You can decide to make it maybe one meter by one meter. Let me make it one meter by one meter, okay, one meter by one meter. All right. So after this now under this alpha channel, click on these alpha channels. Make sure this surface is checked. Make sure this ambient is checked and make sure this dump mapping is checked. Okay. Once this is done and you remember your name, the name of that particular texture, remember we save it as black ties, which is this one. I remember the name, then you click on OK. So that's all. So as simple as this. So let's say we want to change this particular one now to that ties. So you click on that wall, you go under setting dialogues, okay, where your materials are, click on materials and check for that black ties. Okay, look at the black ties here. Look at the name here. Okay, so we click on it. And once we click on OK, that tile will appear. So this is the black tiles. You can see now. As simple as ABC. Alright, 
So if you find this video helpful, I'll be stopping here today, okay? I don't want to make the video too lengthy. So if you find the video helpful or you have any question, okay, please do well to ask on the comment section. And if you find the video helpful, do well to subscribe, okay? And ask any question in the comment section, I will attend to you. Thank you once again for your time. See you on our next tutorial.